yes we have moved two rows and three columns okay we will not count the starting point as a row remember that for those of you who are saying three by three that's not the correct one because we will not count the reference point as a row okay all right so let's get to the first example now as you can see here we have four different products month wise sales these are actual sales and uh, i have given the numbers as as a temporary uh, dummy number so that we can understand it quickly so i have used the 10 everywhere so that we can uh, calculate it very quickly now here we need to calculate the ytd now for those of you who don't know what is ytd is year to date and uh, i request if anyone of you can explain what is year to date in the chat window please so that all of you can understand for those who who do, who do not have the idea of ytd what is ytd is so if you have idea what is ytd uh, kindly write in the chat window Yes, for for this particular example, uh, it's it can be from Jan to December, but it's not fixed that it always start from Jan to December. It it can be any Y YTD. Uh, technically, it will start from the Jan, but for example, if if we are uh, in the month of July and we want to calculate the YTD, that it will be from Jan till July, for example. If if we are during that particular year or the quarter. So the YTV, YTD will be the different, but for in this kind of a scenario example, it's from Jan to December, uh, you are very right, okay? So now, uh, handling the YTD through the offset, how we can do that, we need to understand that, okay? And this will be the example which will give you the clear idea that how you can use the offset. But as I mentioned, there are many examples, there is a very large scope of the offset, so that if you have a question, uh, which is kind of a very advanced. So uh, I, I suggest that you can contact me after the webinar through the email so that I can share uh, a practical more examples within the offset function and do the practice as much as you can because these kind of functions are very necessary to learn for an Excel user, okay? So let me get back to that, how we can use the YTD. Uh, see, the first primarily thing which comes in our mind is that we can use the sum as well. For Jan to December and to calculate the YTD, we can use the sum function which gives us the YTD balance. But now, for example, if a person needs a YTD balance from Jan to March only, okay, so in this case, the YTD is coming from Jan to December, and we need to get the ytd only for the jan feb and march that's it that's a that's our first point to understand so any idea what we can do if we just need a sum of three functions as a ytd for example we are assuming that ytd is from jan to march so i need to change this function yeah exactly so what i need to do is i need to change it and uh, definitely i need to remove or i need to add it to that function and again i will revise the sum function from jan to march only now later on for example if uh, if the manager says that calculate the ytd balance from jan to may so again i need to expand this manually i need to increase the width i need to increase the width of this jan to may range manually within the sum function and then my formula will be revised so to get the particular ytd of our choice we need to every time edit the formula of some function and we need to increase or decrease the height and width uh, especially the width as well so to make it dynamic, we can utilize the combination of sum, offset, and the ROS function, and it will be uh, 
very much dynamic on just a one go. So let's understand that how we can do. Before proceeding to this explanation, I need your feedback. Do you have an understanding what month function returns? Have you ever used the month function? What does it do? Kindly write in the chat window, please. Yes, the month value. OK. The value of the month, for example, uh, let me give you a demonstration of this. For example, if I uh, I have a date. And I need to. Find out that which month is in this particular date, so I'm, I'm just extracting the number of the month. So equals to month and then cell reference and it returns four because we know that in the slash format the months comes at, uh, at the first left side. So this is the month of the April and we got the four here uh, for. Right, so we will be utilizing this month function within the offset to increase the width. Of YTD ranges. Dynamic. OK. And how we will proceed. Let me first create a formula for that and then I will explain it to you. Meanwhile, you can uh, see on my screen and understand that how it goes. So now let me explain this uh, function to you. That's basically the formula to you that. All right. So I have used the sum function. Why? Because we need a total. First of all, why we have utilized the sum function with the offset? Because we need a we need a more than one month sum altogether so that's why we have used the sum function right uh, then the offset because uh, we know that our ytd demand will change and um, every month i don't need to make sure to revise the sum function i need to make a range with which automatically will be dynamic and and it can be controlled as we discussed by the offset function so the reference point which i have picked is from b5 b5 is my starting cell uh, as you can see on my screen, which is the B5. Okay. And uh, this B5 is the reference point. This means the starting point. And from this particular point, how many rows I need to move? But definitely, are all four different products are on different rows. The first product A is on row number one, product B is on row number two, product C, row number three. So to create a dynamic serial number to change the raw number every time I have used the loss function. OK. And. Zero for the column because we don't need to move column. We just need to increase the width of the columns and to increase the width of the columns. We have used the month. And now as you can see that in the month, we have used the B2. B2 is a reference of, of, of a cell which contains a date. So now, for example, if I write F, if I write six here, I am just changing the cell B2, which contains a dat, date, and I am writing a six here. And now you can see that this YTD is from Jan to June. 
if someone asks me to have the YTD from Jan to October, so if I know that the October October is the tenth month month of a year, I just need to write a date, and it changes automatically. Now, why it's changing? Because every time uh, the month function is increasing the width, and how it increasing the width because it's taking a number from these uh, date cell. Okay, so to give you a, a conclusion about the offset is that offset does not comes every time as a standalone function. It can be nest with different kind of functions because you need a overall impact on your business solution that how it will be dynamically move with certain kind of a different functions. And in this example, that's why I picked this example uh, to nest some offset rows and month all together so that you can have an idea that how we you can use the YTD balances uh, dynamically um, within the ranges. Okay, 